show you how to make a simple bioplastic out of milk. Uh, you will need this. You still like vinegar, olive oil, and some milk to make this. So you need two cups of milk, and um, you're going to end up with plastic pieces. Well, you can form them into one piece. We made two. This is a little snail, and this is a cube. It's a viper. <laughs> um, if you do it right, you'll end up with something that's pretty smooth. Um, kind of like chewing gum at the end, and then you'll have to dry it out and it becomes pretty hard. But if you do it wrong, you'll end up with something like cottage cheese. Um, so we're going to show you how to do it the right way. So pour out about two cups of milk and pop it in the microwave probably two to three minutes. Um, and if you don't have a thermometer, make sure it's at hot to the touch, uh, about 150 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. So we've got distilled white vinegar here, and the acid in this is going to make the <coughs> proteins precipitate out of the milk. So we're going to add that, and she's going to stir it, and oops, whoop, it's still all over the counter. Start with a couple of tablespoons at a time until it starts to uh, clump up. Just keep stirring. Um, and you'll it'll start to turn yellowish in you'll color. See it? Yeah. It turns yellow. And it just takes all the white out of the milk. Yep. The protein is what is responsible for the white color in the milk. Once that's out, it's, uh, it turns yellow. And you can just spoon it out. We're going to put it in some water, clean water. And we're going to break up the particles and kind of wash it. This is all we're going to do. And sometimes you can just stir it. Uh, sometimes you have to use your fingers and pull it apart. So you can see the color changing, it's, it's quite yellow. That's a beverage, you can drink it. It's nice. And that's a type of cheese, you can eat it. But I don't want to do either of those. So I can't really start with a spoon very well, so I just like to break it apart with my fingers. So when you stir this up, you'll see the, the liquid will turn kind of, the liquid will turn a color. Oh. And, um, yeah, so just pour that off and then do it again. Cloudy with a chance of cheese balls. Uh, okay. <laughs> How's it coming? Um, lumpy. We've mixed this up. And you'll see the water's pretty cloudy. Um, it broke up all those little chunks of the protein down in the bottom. They, they sank. Um, now all we're going to do is pour the water off of it. And then we're going to wash it again. This water contains sugars and other stuff in the milk that isn't the protein that you want. A little bit of the protein can go away with it. Um, if you wanted to, you could filter this in a cheesecloth or something. Or use your hand and filter it. And then you're going to fill it up with water and do it again. So we've rinsed this a couple of times, um, mixed it up, and the water is pretty clear. Um, you can pour off the last little bit of water and then add fresh water. And then we're going to throw it in the microwave and heat it up. Um, once you heat it up, it should let all the, all the clumps kind of uh, stick back together. We get like a little advanced. <laughs> okay, deal. Perfect. Too hot to touch. 
Turn it into a baggie. That's what I was trying to do. And use a, um, you can use olive oil or a vegetable oil or some sort of oil as a plasticizer. This will help make the plastic more elastic. At this stage, just um, knead it together so it all becomes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just knead it together and it's pretty smooth. It should start to feel like used chewing gum. There's some clean water, and then we're going to throw it in there, put it in the microwave again, and then we'll form it into something. Alright, so we've heated these up. Um, we ended up making two. The first one we did, we didn't clean it well enough. So you can see it's kind of still a little bit like, well, it's crumbly. Um, I think that the difference is when we are mixing it and washing it in the water, we used a water that wasn't warm enough. So use warm water when you're doing that. And what you should end up with is something that's pretty smooth, like this. Um, and you can form this into anything you want. When these dry, they kind of shrink, so don't worry about getting them stuck in your mold. Um, mm -hmm. They should come out really easily. Yeah. Not going? I said you have to touch the spirit in what I want to say. No, it's fine. I'm positive. I'm confident. And let them dry. You think it help? Sure. Or you can just take them out while they're still wet. They make pretty cool plastic beans.